Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Volume Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding find the most profitable company in the financial sector of the entire world along with its continent, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Forbes interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, Find the most profitable company from the financial sector. Output the result along with the continent. So basically, we are given a data frame called Forbes Global 2010 to 2014, and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns, the name of the company and the continent it belongs to, right? Uh, let's inquire about this table or data frame called Forbes Global 2020, 2010 to 2014. So you have a lot of different columns, company, sector, industry, right, uh, continent, etc., right? And there is a column called profit so you need to find out the most profitable right so and that should be in the financial sector right so basically if you see the sector it should be financials okay so basically if you think about it the first step should be to do a boolean indexing right to only keep those rows where sector is equal to financials right so what we can do is you know from this table called you know forbes global 2010 to 2014 what we can do is we can you know just copy this here right because like it's the same table or data frame right and in the column call sector right so sector is should be equal to equal to financials right so financials okay let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you see uh, all the sectors belong to financials right now what we need to find that out of these companies which one was the most profitable right so to do this what we can do is we can save this in a data frame called df and then perform another boolean indexing such that okay from the column called profits right profits should equal to profits should be equal to right or equal equal to this column's maximum value right so profits and dot max right so now if i run this let's see what we are getting so here you have the company and like the name of the company, industry, continent, etc. Right? It has the maximum profit, but we are not required to keep all the columns. Right? We are only required to keep the company and the continent. So we can provide a list of column names that we need to keep. So we can write continent and company. Right? So before this, uh, we should have company as well. So company and continent. Okay. Uh, let me run this. Let's see. Okay, so now our output looks exactly like the expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to service pass all the test cases, right? So if you look at it, everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. Okay, so if you look at it, right, we have the same question, uh, expected output is same as well and the table is same as well, right? All the same values and columns. So again here, what we can do is from this table called Forbes Global 2010, 2014, we should keep, okay, where, the sector right where the sector is equal to financials right we are only required to keep those rows where sector is equal to financials right and then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and now from this common table expression right so basically from all the companies which belongs to sector financials we are only required to keep those rows where profits is equal to the maximum value right so we do okay return max of the profits column right from this common table expression right because this common table expression is already for those companies which are belonging to the sector financials right so maximum of that and then from that you need to return only two columns the name of the company and continent right okay let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to so it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know from this data frame or table called force global 2010 to 2014 we only kept those rows where sector belongs to financials and then what we did was we made sure that okay wherever the company's profits was the maximum profit from the financial sector you keep only those and then return the columns company and continent so yeah, this is how i do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in this comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video